<laughs> hey guys, what's going on? Dan's News here, back in uh, The Wolf Among Us, obviously. It's, it's on the screen right there. Um, so, um, I am going to... For you guys, so there isn't a gap, and you don't have to wait a million years for me to actually get around to uh, the next part. I'm going to sit down and do episode four and episode five of The Wolf Among Us. One sitting, that way uh, there won't be a gap, and so I'll get episode four out of the way. And then the finale of The Wolf Among Us. Now, I, uh, from what I've heard, these aren't incredibly long. They're probably around an hour each, so uh, yeah. Let's just hop into it, I think, after we check... Oh, player choices, achievements. There's new things in there. New things, guys. Um, but yeah, let's just hop into it. I'm excited because it's been a while since I played Wolf Among Us. So, episode four, In Sheep's Clothing. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm Big B. That's not what he sounds like. I'm Wolverine, Steve Blum. Can't afford to look human. You're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? Yeah, I was wondering if they could get to the farm the in this. Mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shot with him. Asshole. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Da -da -da. Bloody Mary. Oh yeah, I hold out. Oh, I, I killed him! I <laughs> uh. It was a good show. But, you know... Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Well, this is going to be a beautiful relationship Ow. we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. Alrighty. Previously on uh, The Wolf Among Us. I almost said The Walking Dead. Previously on Alias. Alrighty, picking up where we left off. Oh, jeez. What the fuck? Death? Is that death? Oh, no, that's so Bloody Mary. Alright. <clears throat> Hollow point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Hmm. Easy there. Try not to move. Ew. New Book of Fables, is that on who this doctor guy is? Sorry, I just want to check this out here. Where is it? Bullets. Oh, silver bullets. Legends of great and magical wolves often make mention of their weakness against weapons made of silver. And those tales bear out to be true. The silver bullet Mary shot Bigby with was not the first, but any of them could be his last. Any silver left in Bigby's body weakens his system, slows his healing, and can cause long-term damage. All right. Interesting. I thought it was going to be the doctor. The fables thing. Ow. Ow. Oh, ow. Owie, ow. Heh. Heh. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious. Uh, There's little I can do for the pain. My arm. Just stay still and let me finish. My arm. <laughs> yes, very ugly. But not life-threatening. Good. I can't say the same for these bullets peppered throughout your vital organs. Hmm. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Doctor. <laughs> yeah. I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment, but if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Oh, please. Oh, please, dear Jesus, no. Dear Jesus, no. Uh, uh. Oh, 
Oh god, no. Oh god, no, don't make me do this, Telltale! <laughs> Are you kidding me, Ow? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, please stop it. Oh! Okay. Um... Oh! Oh no! <laughs> this is disgusting! <laughs> Jesus! His eyes went yellow for a second. That's fucked up. Hmm. Not bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky. No thanks, Doc. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. This is the job. Quiet. Just relax. It's the job. <laughs> I'm the sheriff. I have to do it. Who else is going to if I don't? Way, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay. At least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands. And I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind... Don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. It'll be okay, Snow. The pig can stay, though. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. True. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. So is she. With what? Your hooves? Could Don't distract the doctor. Do not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open. Yes, that would be helpful. His chest isn't cut open. He is uh, taking a lot of things out of my abdomen, though. Great. Jesus. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time. This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Hmm. Well, this I'll one. try not to let that happen. You'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. I don't think he can. Means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep, mostly. Just keep watch, and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I don't need a babysitter. I can look after myself. Clearly. <laughs> Anyways, hey, I was with her when this happened. They say. Miss White, Sheriff, Colin. Swiney. Wow, what the fuck, Colin? You pig bastard. Go fuck yourself. What an asshole. Ah, Big B. The things you get yourself into. All right, let's just booze it on up. That'll help the healing process. Go, 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 go. How do you, um, feel? It's Big B, Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. Like how shit. Do you think I feel like shit. You should see how you look. <sighs> I'm glad you're not dead. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or. Died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. Uh oh. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him. He's never worried. I and don't die easy. Felt... I'm pretty hard to kill. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. <laughs> Colin. I'm just saying, I was worried about it. Pig's cock blocking Snow the White there. I haven't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? The crooked man. Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. 
This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The Crooked Man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. One of the two. Now right, let's check out the new Book of Fables thing. <laughs> Snow White. Acting Deputy Snow White. With Ichabod Crane firmly out of the picture and King Cole still absent, the task of leading Fable Town falls squarely on Snow's shoulders. She has performed many of the job's duties for a long time, picking up the slack for Crane. But now she, that, or now that she's fully in charge of the business office, she has to deal with a new level of politicking uh, that she had previously not been exposed to. Same thing with Big B. Big B's having to do a lot of things he hasn't had to do before. Well... If those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick Desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm going to let Bloody Mary just murder... It was a split-second decision, and I don't care how it looked. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? Of course I'm pissed. Of course I'm pissed, but what's done is done. Okay, okay. All I care about right now is just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. Clearly. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. Crane was so used. what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? Crane was a puppet, and the Crooked Man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? And Faith? I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. Somehow. The Crooked Man. Declared war against us last night. Excuse me. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But yeah. now I see this war has been going on for years. Yeah. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? Oh, Colin, you you're not helping right much. I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. A little hey, restraint. We're and doing day. I can only do things my way. Forward. I can only do things the way I do them. And where has that left us so far? Excuse me, but it's left us with a name. Maybe the name, the Crooked Man. That's not good enough. Oh, let me go sleuth a little bit more. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book. Straight as an arrow. Oh no. Pure is driven snow. Oh, I'm shut not up, Colin. I'm the arbiter of sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. Just let that side of you be done, okay? Uh, I had done, no other choice. Buried, and we can all move on. We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. That's the only really? degree. Well, if that's the case, please explain to Colin why tearing Dumb's throat out was necessary. That was the heat of the moment. Okay, I mean, that, that, uh, uh, it, uh, it, uh, it, I got out of control. I can admit... And it went too far. Well, that's a good first step. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a Colin, shower. Colin, I can defend him. myself. Hell, Shut I'm up. I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. Relax, Colin. I can speak for myself, okay? He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation 
has to end. What situation? <laughs> All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. <laughs> Are you going to let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And <sighs> he knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. And what if a Mundy does see me, huh? I'm a pig, not a mouse with a hat and a cane. Calm down, everybody. You know what a pig is? It's not the end of the world. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm no. not. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? Oh, come on. The phone's ringing. You two are arguing. I don't like this. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. It's happening now. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Buffkin. Nerissa. Nerissa. Oh. oh. Rod from the pudding and pie. Little yes. mermaid. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about, but that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Ah, uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the uh, disenfranchised. Something about your prickly demeanor attracts him like a moth to a flame. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Yep. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. <laughs> yeah, you and can I only be so good at it. Out of these clothes. Probably, I mean, Consider the it's a good fashion table, statement. But not over. Consider the discussion fabled. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really going to send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she's <sighs> serious about it, but I can still hang out here. I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, okay. I get it. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. Hey, I'm not sticking up for you, but I'm not going to tear you down either, guys, so... Just calm down. I don't want to shit on everybody's day. My day's been shitty enough. Fucking took like 80 bullets to the chest. Uh, bee wolf. Big bee, bee wolf. All right. Hey, Narissa. Your clothes are on. That's good. All righty. No, like, uh, super crazy twist beginning that had me like, oh, <laughs> before the intro. That's funny. Uh, well, directed by Ken Muddle, or Moodle, or M Moodle. Then it, The Wolf Among Us, episode four. Episode four, Wolf Among Us, yeah, 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 yeah. Big bees and wolves. Among us. Little did you know there was a theme song. Episode 4 in Sheep's Clothing. She looks so Hi, happy to see me. Sheriff. Hi. Hi. Hi, Marissa. Have a seat. Have a, yeah, I was about to say, have a seat. <laughs> Don't have to keep standing. You could have sat the entire time, but. I have such a headache. All right, anybody got to talk or? I, um, are you okay? Nope, got shot a lot. Next. You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around. Don't be fooled by this. I didn't get the worst of it. <coughs> oh, yeah, start smoking. That'll help your, you know, healing process. Just like the drinking. <laughs> Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Oh. Sorry. La di da. Uh, so, what brings you here? Thanks. So, what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. And I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, 
I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Uh huh. Back in the dressing room at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again. Hmm. You can try. I just. Okay. Ahead. 